Alrighty, we're going to talk about wiring a sub panel here in the country I was born in. Uh, this will be a case where the main breaker would be outside or at a distribution panel, and you have four conductors coming to the sub panel. You keep your ground and neutral separate, and they cannot be bonded. So before the box is wired, I'll show you what that means. We'll put one on the ground bar and one on the neutral bar, and there is absolutely no reading because they, uh, they are isolated from each other, but they are tied together at the uh, main box. So I'll show you how to wire this. We'll, I'll show you the 120 volt, 15 or 20 amp circuit, your uh, 220, 240 volt, four conductor, and then again the uh, three conductor, and we're including the ground in the conductors. So we'll, I'll show you how to wire this uh, sub panel. So there's no continuity between the neutral and the ground bar in the sub panel. But in the main panel, they are all tied together. So we'll start with wiring our panel box up. We'll bring our ground up to our corner here. We'll bring it down and we'll go in right here. Cut it. Now in a real situation, we'll be using ox guard on our aluminum so that our conductors don't corrode inside these uh, terminals here. But since this is a tutorial, I'm not going to use that. So we'll put our ground into our ground bar, which is bonded to our box. Hold it down really tight. Next, we will take our white, which is our neutral here, and we will come over here to our neutral bar and we'll bend it right there and go into our neutral terminal. to strip our conductors carefully when you don't want to cut your conductors underneath there. We'll cool our outer insulation off. And you got to make sure you get that little white film off of the uh, wire. I'll see if I can poke it out so you can see it. There's an undercoating of white film. You want to make sure you get that off your uh, conductors too. And we'll put our white on the neutral bar here. This is one, any one of the big holes. Get the shirts in all the way. Tight. And now we have our two hot wires. Now what I like to do is I like to make a loop with the two live wires like this. And then we'll cut them down here. And we'll strip that outer jacket off here. Another way I can take the insulation off is I take a knife and that film comes out too. And I don't have my uh, Allen wrench. Okay, these terminals open up with an Allen wrench. So you just select the size, 
Nessun Yes. Go to show it up. We will put our main conductor in the terminal like that. And we'll just tighten it up. Okay, it's a little long, so I'll bring it up. We can shorten it some here. There's that white film there I was talking about. You can see it coming off under there. See it under the uh, black insulation there. Conductor comes down to the bottom of the terminal, but not below it. Okay, so we have our we have 120 coming in on this side, 120 coming in on this side. So we have 240 volts with both legs, and 120 from this one to the neutral, or 120 from this one. To the neutral. So first we will wire a uh, 220 240 volt circuit. This would be a 20 amp. And it'll be for a uh, like a baseboard water or a baseboard uh, heater or something that does not require a neutral. So we'll take these two wires here. We'll bring our ground down. Push it back here to our corner. Bring it down. Come over. We'll go into our neutral bar over here. through the hole. Now we'll hook the black and the white up to the breaker. This is one instance where you find, can find a white wire live. And we'll go into our breaker right here. This will be a 20 amp and this is number 12 wire. It says 30 but we don't have a 20 but this is a tutorial. This will be a 20 in a real case. They all wire the same. And there's our opening there. We'll go into the hole. Get it under a pressure plate there. Make sure our insulation doesn't get caught under the terminal. Okay, so we'll make sure it's going in nice and straight here. There's one. We'll bring our white wire down and we'll make our bend here. And we'll go into our breaker.
Now you can put some black tape on this to identify it as live, same at the other end, but we don't have any electrical tape, but that's what you can do. Or you can take a, a Sharpie and mark it black or red, indicate that it's live. So we will uh, put it in our hole. Nice and tight. Get our wire going up in here nice and straight. Push it back. Now this is a four conductor to 40 volt circuit. This would be for like a, uh, a smaller hot tub or uh, maybe a, an electric dryer or something that requires a neutral. So we'll take, we'll put a double pole 30 down here. And we'll put our black and red. We'll make our bends nice and neat here. Bring our wire down and we'll go over and we'll go into our breaker here. So it's going nice and straight and neat there. Now we'll bring our red wire down. We'll come down and we'll go over and we'll go into our breaker down here. Make sure it's in our hole all the way here. Make sure insulation is not caught under the terminal. We're in all the way. Now the ground will go down here. And we'll go on the ground bar so we'll bring it down. And we will turn, we'll open up our uh, place on our ground bar right here. And we'll turn and we'll go into our ground bar right here. If it was longer, I would have gone all the way up, but it's not, so there we go. Now we bring our white wire over here to our neutral bar. This is where we got to separate our whites and our ground, so we'll bring it down here, and we can bring it in right over here. Make sure we don't get our insulation under the terminal and our copper is coming through so it's in nice and straight. And now we'll hook up our 120 volt circuit. Rip our insulation back. Clear out all our debris here. So this would be a 15 or a 20 amp ramp circuit for lights and outlets. Now in the kitchen, number 12 is required because of appliances, but you're allowed to use 14 in a bedroom or in a living room or in a hallway. But the kitchen is where number you have to have a minimum of two circuits with 12 on 20 amps in the kitchen. So we will uh, get our connector nice and tight here. And now we'll run our ground wire, bring our wires out. We will come down to the bottom, come around, come up. We'll go right in this bottom one here. We're kind of short, so we're going to have to right into the bottom here, put it right on the very bottom. Okay, now we can make it a little bit neater here. We'll make it straight here. We'll come up and make our bend up here. 
tire. If it was longer, I would have gotten it right back into the corner, but I'm going to try to make it a little bit neater here. There we go, that's the best I can get it. Okay, then our white wire will go up here on our neutral bar, so we'll push it back this way like this. We'll bring it up, and we can bend it over right here. Always strip with your hole that matches the wire size. And we'll put it on our neutral bar. Let's see if I have enough black to go down, come around, come up, and put our breaker over here. We'll put our, we'll put it down here. This is a uh, single pole 20 amp breaker. If it's 12, you can use a 20, but if it's a 14 American wire gauge, you use a 15. But it goes in the same way. It just goes in like this, push it in. Put our black wire under the breaker. And we'll just neaten this up just a little bit here. So we'll get it back here is nice and neat. So that is how to wire a uh, sub panel here in the country I was born in. We use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps, 8 American wire gauge on 40 amps, 6 American wire gauge on 50 amps. That's for both the 120 and the 240 volt circuits. Peace. Thanks for watching.